Hi, I'm Lisa Bauer and you are watching Dirty Dog Live Music and tonight we're sitting here with Maddie B and the Dirty Pickles. Hi. Um, Maddie, would you please introduce the band? Um, well, I'm uh, Maddie B of the Dirty Pickles. This is Dig It Dave, the drummer, and this is Ben Jammin, our bass player. Hi. It's nice to meet you guys. Um, can you tell me a little bit about where you're from? Uh, I, well, it was founded in, uh, no, we're, uh, we're actually from Erie, Pennsylvania. And, uh, Great place for music. Yeah, yeah. We're Bay Boys, <laughs> if you would. Yes. Uh, you also from Erie? Oh, yeah, we're all from Erie. We yeah. uh, all went to high school together. One race. So. Okay, and, and um, what kind of music do you play? Uh, well, that's, that's the question. We're, um, it all started as a rockabilly band. Mm -hmm. We wanted to you know, mimic the, the 50s style of rockabilly. But we were all into so many different genres uh, at the time. I, w I was very heavy into punk rock. He was big into funk and blues. And this guy's... He... Uh, I'm a noob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, can't, you can't get him away hey, from Hey, somebody's got to be the newbie, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, it, it's a funny story. He actually um, did all our graphic designing from high school. Ah, and we, uh, me too. We, we handed him drumsticks. And we're like, you got three weeks before your first gig. And this is after about four years into the band. Oh, wow. So we were like, okay, we need somebody that we trust and blah, blah, blah. Let's just make a drummer. Mm -hmm. So, and then we created this monster. So do you mostly play in the Erie area or uh, oh, you played in New York? We, we and... play everywhere. I just um, recently got back from New York City. Um, we went on tour all through the South uh, a couple months ago. I don't remember when that was, but... It wasn't long ago. Yeah. But yeah, we were, we were in Nashville and Memphis and all throughout Florida. Yeah, I bet so, you had some great experiences. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we actually got to meet and hang out for two days straight. Um, I was walking around, or we were walking around. We were going place to place because we went on tour without having any gigs booked. Oh, all that's through the scary. South. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we just had a map and some gas money, and we're like, let's go oh. to Nashville. So we went door to door knocking, like trying to find, that sounds like fun, find where we're going to yeah. play. Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. But we went into this blues bar and we saw this blues guy playing um, bass. And he just looked really cool. He had good personality on stage. He got off stage and I was like, guys, I'm going to go talk to him. Mm -hmm. You know, I tapped him on the shoulder. I told him our situation. We're in town. We have no gigs. We need a gig. He's like, I can't help you tonight. But, you know, that's a pretty cool idea. Do you, do you guys know who I am? <laughs> and it ends up um, being Brother Man, who is... Willie, or not, uh, Charlie Daniels and Kenny Rogers, bass player. Oh my goodness, so, talking yeah. about a stroke of luck. Yeah, talking to the right person. So he hooked us up with a gig and, uh, you know, it was it was pretty intense so you, experience going on tour with no gigs. How, how long were you doing this? Um, that, it was just like a quick two week in and out. Two we got weeks? nine gigs in 14 days. Wow. So none of them booked or planned or anything. Wow, that sounds really fun. That's, that's very adventuresome. Well, what are you going to do, not play? <laughs> right. right, exactly. No deadlines. Yeah, no deadlines. <laughs> we didn't have to worry about showing up late. <laughs> yeah. So in addition to being fantastic musicians, you're also songwriters. Um, have you written most of the songs that you're going to do I, tonight? I've Actually, they're, they're all my songs. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to be honest. It's all right. I'm just a drummer. They're, they're all my songs. Um, you know, we, I sit there and I write them in my room with an acoustic guitar, and then I bring them to band, band practice. And they make them sound better than I could, so. Okay, fantastic. Um, I'm really anxious to hear them. Are you ready to go do them? Uh, yeah, if, yeah, if you are. Okay, let's go. All right, all right. Yeah. Place. I'm the one they call Maddie B. Forget about it, baby, that's enough about me. Yeah! Well, everybody get up and everybody scream. Come on, man, no time to the mean. We got the greatest thing that you've ever seen. Oh, yeah!
Check, check, check. Is this thing on? There ain't no right, but baby, we ain't wrong, no. You can't find a word to rhyme with orange. Huh. Well, everybody get up and everybody scream. Come on, baby, no time to be mean. We got the greatest thing that you've ever seen. Big and Billy Town, baby, get up on that scene. Redder than wine, who I can see a little evil in your eye. You know you look so fine, your lips are redder than wine, but I can see a little evil in your eye. Get away, I tried, lost my mind. This girl's got me hypnotized. And we are the dirtiest pickles you've ever seen. You too. All right, this is a song off of our new album called Not Quite Kosher, and the song's called Trance.
back, I could never look back. Sorry, I'm old, but I love Barry Mac. Oh, all right. The song's called To Grow Old. myself to myself and I slapped me a high five everybody out there in TV world slap each other high fives it's important and I realized it was up to me to keep my soul alive now I'm dancing on the porch even though I am late for work not to mention there was no music People laughed and people looked Next thing I knew they were all hooked Whole Street was remembering who to begin well, I've got the bottle this round To grow old means to be found The more I grow up, oh, the more I grow proud well, I've got the bottle this round Oh, I've got the bottle this round oh, I've got the bottle This Round
This is called What a Day for the End of the World.
the three word phrase I've grown cold from my time on the road I've lived a million lives but I've never lived my own I make them smile I make them laugh then I sign their autographs And I never get to come back home I said goodbye to you Because I love you I had to go and do my thing for a while if I didn't have this dream of mine, I'd be unhappy, I think. But then I think I might just let you go and have my child. I, as in me, will be all right, oh yeah. And you are what keeps me up at night. But those aren't the hardest things to say No, no, no Love's the hardest part Of the three-word phrase Well, everyone knows the way it goes. I tried to talk to myself today. I couldn't think of anything to say. So I grabbed my coat and I took a stroll. To put me in this state of emotion I'll realize I've done it to myself And I can't blame anybody else So I take another sip from the bottle I sit and do the only thing that I know I put the pen tip to the paper And I begin to carry on I try so hard to get so far away No one ever told me life's a drag I sit with my head between my knees And I cry, I cry alone Hoping that I'll find my way back home But that's the way it goes I stare into her eyes of blue And all I can think of is you And all the pain that I put you through Oh baby, what did I do? So I take another sip from the bottle I said and do the only thing that I know I put the pen tip to the paper And I began to carry on I tried so hard to get so far away No one ever told me life's a drag I sit with my head between my knees And I cry, cry alone Hoping that I'll find my way back home But that's the way it goes
I tried to talk to myself today I couldn't think of anything to say So I grabbed my coat and I took a stroll On down to misery lane I tried to think of everything that I've done To put me in this state of emotion I realize I've done it to myself And I can't blame anybody else So I take another sip from the bottle I sit and do the only thing that I know I put the pen tip to the paper Then I began to carry on Try so hard to get so far away No one ever told me life's a drag Okay, we're back. Wow, you guys are super high energy. I absolutely love that. Um, now I know why you won Rock Erie Music Awards. Um, tell people what you did win. Well, we um, we won alternative uh, the best al or favorite. Excuse me, it's not best. Uh, alternative slash punk rock band. Fantastic. But, and uh, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I, I was just gonna say. Gonna, gonna say that we were nominated for album of the year and song of the year, so oh, hey, and we got to actually play at the awards. Yes, um, the Rock Erie Music Awards is a, it's a wonderful show. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, they they do that really really well. We're very proud of that. Um, also, um, how can people find you if they if they're looking to give you a gig or hire you? Well, I'll tell you or, what. I will let this man, Dig It Dave, do the talking. He is our graphic designer. <gasps> Anything you see of ours, our web stuff, our YouTube stuff, is all. Yep, yep. Go just on. go to thedirtypickles.com or just Google Dirty Pickles and you will find everything you need to know. Facebook, MySpace. Facebook, definitely Facebook. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter. We have actually have our own YouTube channel that's very cool because um, we have it organized so you can check out full-length live shows. Um, and, and some album copies. And, and yeah. album yeah. songs, yeah. Great. Fantastic. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing you out there and thank you so much for being on the show today. Oh, well, thank you. It's been our pleasure. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. 